Good morning, Happy Valley. Today is Wednesday, April funny, 25th. What's, what's a funny? Okay. Good morning, Happy Valley. Today is Wednesday, April 25th, 2012. I'm your student meteorologist, Rob Bingle. And hey, guess what? This is my last weather broadcast for the year. It's year has gone by pretty quick, hasn't it? For today, sun. We have not seen the sun in a while, and I'm sure most of us will be happy to see that sun. The sun poked through a little bit uh, yesterday, but today will be a mostly sunny day. But unfortunately, those sunny skies won't last for long as the disturbance will be moving on through the area tonight and into tomorrow as we will be expecting some rain to come along with that. And for the remainder of the forecast period, next five days or so, below average temps are to be expected. So right now outside we are seeing a temperature of 34 degrees, clear skies and really not any winds to speak of at this hour. Temperatures across the state right now, as you can see in the northern sections of the state, they are the coolest spots right now. 33 degrees in Scranton, 32 in Bradford, and our coolest spot currently in Pennsylvania is 30 degrees in Franklin. But as you head into the southern sections of the state, temperatures do warm up. We're at 40 degrees currently in Harrisburg, and our warmest spot, what do you know, City of Brotherly Love, 42 degrees currently in Philadelphia. As I brought in the perspective a little bit, you can see the northeast is the coolest section in the country right now and off to our west in the midsection of the country it's already 76 degrees in Amarillo no this warm weather will not be pushing its way into our region sorry about that guys here's our radar right now notice the winter scan is on as some uh, snow and mix are popping up on the returns but any precipitation that should come your way will be very light and w really brief and broadening the, pr the perspective a little bit notice the system currently bringing some rain to the Wisconsin and Minnesota area and this system will be sliding to the south and to the east over the Great Lakes region and that is the system that will be bringing us a chance of showers tonight and rain into tomorrow. Here is our eye on the sky forecast. Clear conditions are to be expected for Wednesday but into Wednesday night those clouds do roll in and by Wednesday or and by tonight and into Thursday morning most of the state will be experiencing rain showers but Thursday, those rain showers move out, and by Thursday night and into Friday morning, we are at clear skies once again. Here's our upper air pattern. You can see the northeastern United States is under a massive trough right now, and here is our ridge over the midsection and western sections of the country. And as I move this forward a little bit, you can see that trough, it does move to the north, but it just kind of lingers over the northeastern United States, so that cooler below average temperatures that we have been seeing for the past couple of days will stick around a little bit warmer than what we've been experiencing but still temperatures will be running about 10 degrees below average for today we are expecting a high of 60 degrees some fro fog and frost is possible in the morning but skies will be mostly sunny and winds are out of the west at 11 to 14 miles an hour for tonight though that the servants will start to move through our area bring us a chance of showers low 42 degrees and winds do die down out of the west at five miles an hour. Here's the next five days. Rain likely for tomorrow. Should be quite a soaker, so make sure you have that umbrella handy. High of 58 degrees. For Friday, skies do clear out, mostly sunny, high of 55 degrees. And for Saturday, once again, another disturbance rolls through our area, and we will be expecting a high of 50 degrees. And for Sunday, partly sunny skies with a high of 53 degrees and for Monday finally warming back up a little bit sunny skies with a high of around 56 and looking into Tuesday and into Wednesday temperatures should re should return into the 60s so uh, nice weather to close out finals week so that has been your campus weather service web forecast I'm Rob England to everybody out there good luck on your finals Rob out <laughs>